Yeah, I'm not sure more Elaine from the second leg, you know. But Adrian, who out there on the other teams in the finals who can run faster than Elaine on the second leg? You mean like over 100 meters? Well, you have a point there. Welcome, Sports Nation, to Sports DTM, the sports channel where we call sports down the middle. You can expect the latest in sports news, views, and reviews from our resident analysts. No sports topic is too controversial, and no team or player is above criticism. So just smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on our balanced offering of riveting sports content. And don't forget to like, share, and leave a comment below. Welcome to Sports DTM. Greetings Sports DTM fans and welcome to another episode of Sports Down the Middle, your channel of undiluted sports content. Ray, Adrian and I are here to talk about the women's 4x100 meters final. The lineups are out and we're here to talk about Jamaica's chances of getting that gold medal, that world record, that championship record, that national record, a whole heap of record, plus the 100k, yeah? The extra 100k. Mula. <laughs> Raymond, we saw the team um, advancing from the Eats in a time of 42.37, finishing second behind the British, going into the finals. Um, what's your thoughts on how they perform in that um, semi final? Well, Kurt, even the team that they, they fielded, um, they perform admirable, I have to say. Um, we know the type of persons that were to run in this um really and and we figured that the outcome of qualifying was never in doubt and and so honestly they performed admirable and that's all we ask of them hey john your thoughts on their performance quickly well kurt um quick thought is that um the team went out did very well they had an objective the objective was for them to qualify to give the and also to give the um the, the final runners um a good um lane they have met that objective done well and i think um hats off for the girls um a lot of them haven't run um in this competition as yet but they have shown that they have kept themselves ready they took their opportunity and we say well done to them and we saw the team of brianna williams natalia white ramona burchell and kemba nelson running on each leg in that order 42 37 raymond i'm going to share the the um the what you call this now the leg time yeah the for split. runner all right, all right the spits and if you notice in the, the highlighted sections are the fastest time for each of the leg jamaica only led on the first leg and of course brenna williams brilliant out brilliant always 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 brilliant out of the blocks 11 45. not a true reflection of how, how our time normally is over 100 meters but she gave jamaica an excellent start we never maintained it to second third or fourth leg and we finished second um in this heat yeah kirk um clearly um in the in the first leg you see brianna you know that 11.45 uh, we kind of lose it a little bit in the um, in the in the second leg, because in the second leg we pretty much was running third. If you if you see, uh, there's a 9.98, uh, actually fourth, because it's a 9.98, and then the 10.21, and then there's the, a 10.18 as well. Right. So yeah, yeah. So it's, so it's, so right, um, and and so it, it from between the second and the second and third leg you find that it was kind of getting away from us a bit. Um, so Brianna and actually Kemba, you know, Kemba time was the was a, was a third fastest, and that kind of bring us back into the fold. Relative to, of course, to what was happening with the other teams. Right, and Adrian, in looking at this, then can we say with some amount of certainty that the replacement in the final will be on leg two, three, and four, considering that you say we were recruiting for the starter and the brain has started. Well, yeah, we did the um, audition. We did our recruiting. Um, everything was played out. We see where Brenna, um Williams 
went out like a bullet. Um, it's 11.45. She's out of the block. She's on the corner. So those times will come. But the important thing is she was faster than everyone else in um, this race, including the British. Um, so as it stands right now, Brand yes, Brenda Williams is in line for that star position. Kemba Nelson did run well on the back stretch, but she was chased down by Great Britain's Daryl Nita. So obviously she may not be a best finisher. Um, three, three runners in, three fast runners in. I think we're going to end up going back to the team that took us um, to goal in the Olympics, and of course give ourselves the opportunity to chase um, to chase that um, record. I just can't see going any other way. If you're going any other way, you'd have to insert um, Shelley and Fraser Price at the start, and then the conundrum to actually fit the other pieces together will start to show up. So as it stands right now, it does look like Brenna Williams. I don't want you to pick the rest of the team yet. And Raymond, we always talk about efficiency. And that is also a key ingredient in getting um, to the finish line with the button in hand. And if we look at the exchange, time taken for each exchange for each of the, the changes, we look at Jamaica, 6.77, the overall time taken for the three exchanges. Only one team exchange was slow and that was ireland so definitely with the the inclusion of the the faster runners and more experienced runners and and them not trying to play it as safe to get to the final where the money is paid uh, we should see this coming down um, significantly yeah kurt i don't see why not um i want you guys to zone in on that 2.39 um that exchange was probably the slowest so that, that you lose a lot of time with that exchange, and that possibly cause us to probably slip further behind, and and, and needed to catch to make a serious catch up in the in the other exchanges, and 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 pretty much running to the line from Kemba and so forth. So that exchange, as I said, the two point three nine was the slowest in the overall exchange, you know, um, points. Right. Right. So that 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 is that you can't have that happening at all. And that was the exchange from the second leg runner to the third. And let's remember, you just mentioned that the second leg runner was the slowest of, of all the runners. So imagine you run the slowest and then it takes so long to give her the, to hand over the button, like I said, you know what? I mean, intend to done that race here quick today. Now, so, sometime, you know, Kirk, sometime, you know, even though we measure it and, and that speaks to efficiency, you know, sometimes persons don't want to drop the stick. And, and of course, you rather lose the time in from an efficiency standpoint to ensure that the stick goes around safely. And I think the, the, the task was to actually bring it around safely as best as possible and qualify. They know that they have it in them to qualify. So it's just a matter of bringing it around safely. Right. And and that we agree. So now we've done a brief look at the semi-final. This is the lineup for the final um, in Lane one, Switzerland made it in with Kambunji Cups should come in. Italy in lane two, United States in lane three, 41 56. Their season's best to win this. Eat Spain 42 61. And they were extremely excited. I, I suppose they know that they'll get some money when they reach the finals. Jamaica will be running out of lane five. 42 37, their season's best, and that's what they did in the eats. Great Britain, who won that eat 41 99, will be in lane six. Germany will be in lane seven, 42 44. And the Nigeria, who also celebrated a lot, having qualified for the finals 42 68. Adrian, talk to me about this lineup. The, the competition will be between US. Jamaica and Great Britain again. Uh, yeah, yeah, Kurt. Um, competition is in the middle of the pack. Um, United States will want to um, win this one because they're in their backyard. Um, obviously, though, the Jamaican team has a lot of firepower that was not in the um, in the semifinals. The the podium from the 100 meters should be um, on display again. Um, Shelly and Fraser Price, Sherika Jackson, Elaine Thompson era. And they will want to threaten the record held by the world record held by the United States of 40.82 seconds. Um, and they, they would have been disappointed from the Olympics in not getting it. And so I think they will want to 
win this one, especially to ensure that, um, for example, Elaine Thompson era gets a gold medal going home um, with her um, on this occasion. But we have to watch out for Great Britain. They ran well also in the semifinals. And of course, Nigeria is very happy being there. Before the tournament started, they looked like they would have been out with the blessing of um, um violation there. But they are in an excited as well. So it should be a crack off a race. Raymond, in the last four, well, last eight world championships, it's split down the middle, four to US, four to Jamaica. Um, that that trend should continue. One will be one up this time around, and we suspect it should be the podium. Yeah, Kirk, it, 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 that, that exactly builds anticipation and excitement and suspense and drama, all those stuff that you get the popcorn out for, and pretty much some people pack cover and all. The fact that this race should separate the two of us, the US and, and Jamaica, a tiebreaker race. And, and so, you know, don't want to put any pressure on anybody, but this one, as, as Adrian said, the word crack on fireworks, all of those things come to mind. And that's, that's just what it is. And again, so the expectation is that Jamaica win US second, Great Britain third. Every time we talk about the four by 100 meters, Adrian, there is always the talk about the record. And the record comes with a $100,000 US um, exchange to Jamaica. I don't want to tell you how much it is, but yeah. Do we need to focus on getting that world record or just focus on getting the button around? Both. We want that gold medal and we need that money i mean before this final there was talk about whether elaine thompson era would have been up to it and whether i think that should have been included i tell you something elaine loves her money right so she will be in um jamaican ladies love their money they will be up for it and as, and as such i expect that the ladies will be on full display they'll be running their heart out to representing the black green and gold and it's expected that um they just need to get the baton around Yes, we want that goal. We need that goal. But we also need that world record. And what better way to celebrate uh, 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 um, a win than to top it off with a gold medal in um, Eugene, Oregon, and really lift the spirits of the Jamaican people headed into our independent celebrations. And Raymond, if we're to now select the team that should run in the finals, of course, the Shelly and Elaine and Sharika spots are already um, selected automatically based on their performances, based on the time that they're running, based on their experience, based on their killer instinct, and based on the fact that they need the, 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 that, that 100k. But the, can we also assume that based on the fact that Brianna ran the first leg, and that's the leg she ran on the Olympic winning team that they will keep that team together and um just bring in the three podium finishes and that will be the team for the, the four by one um kirk is exactly that you have just showed us a chart a chart that shows 11.45 and she was the fastest runner out of the blocks into the exchange so i mean you know some persons were waiting on the and this to to get their confirmation of who should start and it, it, it seems like Brenner will possibly get the nod, and the lineup might ex that resembles that of the Olympic um, team. If some persons might actually want to switch around and have um, Sherika second it and, 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 and Elaine um, probably anchor or something of the sort. But, you know, keeping that, keeping Elaine in the second leg, if she's able to hold off certain runners, then into Sherika in the third leg now. I mean, Fraser Price in the, in, in the third leg, she she would be able to to you know to hold off and, and push further into it. I don't know what you mean. Will be it can hold off or will be able to hold off. There's nobody out there. It's a, who it's a lot of word. I use the word should a lot, and, and so that is that is. Brid Bridget, there is there is nobody out there on any other team except the Jamaican team 
were run faster than it is. It's just, it's just the nerves. Bring the nerves. Bring the nerves. Bring me and the nerves. I mean, nothing seems 100, 100%. You can't nerve us from, you can't nerve us from all of 48 hours before the race. Or the only thing, the, the only thing is 100% is natural laws, you know, things like drinks of water. I'm burnt. <laughs> but all right, I get you. I get you. Drink some water and get over the nerves. But Adrian, water. <laughs> I, I, I too agree with Raymond to keep the Olympics line, team and lineup. Brianna Stark to Elaine to Shelly to Sharika. That's that's uh, as Tiga would say. The wheel the broke, so don't try to fix it, right? But um, no, no, some I can put it that way. Yes. I mean, no, I can put it that way. The wheel ain't broke, no, fix it. Um, but I think that the wheel got faster for some people this year. Um, Sharika Jackson, obviously, has hit top gear. Um, Elaine, while running pretty good and got a brand, brand in the in the final of the women's 100 meters, it seems not to be at her best as well. And Shelly also seems to be in top gear. But I Elaine, would, not at her best, is still faster it's still, than it's still faster, else. but oh, but oh, their but, world championship. But but if you're going for that world record, it's important to line up properly. Brianna to start, Sharika Jackson on second, Elaine Thompson here on the third, and Shelly on the fourth. Gives you a very an advantage from the start. Gives you a, a wide margin from the start, gives you an opportunity to chase the race. And I think it sets you up perfectly to get that world record and hit that $100,000 um, thing. By the way, the girls in the semifinals are depending on the court that runs to get that money. All right? No pressure. So, so clearly, the money has spent six ways, right? Or seven ways. So. The final so is that I means get more. they need to win, plus they need to get that world record money. But I hear you, Shelly Shelly really runs faster around the curve than anybody else, and we saw that in 200 meters. So why not put Shelly on the curve? I leave that to the fans, right? Not to you, but to the fans. Fans out there, let us hear from you. What's your thoughts on the lineup? Who you think are gonna win? Who you think are gonna come second? Who you think are gonna come third? And who are gonna come dead last? Dead last, there's money for the dead last position. So leave all those comments in the comment section below. What lineup should they run? Who should run first, second, third leg, fourth leg? Leave all of that in the comment section below. And always remember to like, to share, and to subscribe. And to tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell all of them friends to come and join the Sports DTM family. This has been another episode of Sports Down the Middle. Raymond, Adrian and I signing out, saying be blessed.